Hello, everybody. Welcome to Shape It Up Over 40. I am your host, Nicole Simonin, and I help women lose weight for the last time. If you missed the last two episodes, you are going to want to go back and check them out. All this month, I will be giving you strategies to navigate your way through December because it's a holiday, not a holla month. And if you don't get that reference, definitely go back and listen to the December 1st episode. Okay, so continuing on with how not to lose weight over the holidays, which I gave you tip number one yesterday, and tip number two is coming. So if you have decided this December is not the time to focus on losing weight, and you've decided instead you might as well enjoy the season, you know, because there's like also this whole COVID thing, not just because of the holidays, and you've decided to make the holidays your time to gain weight. I have great news for you. It's super easy to gain weight over the holidays. All right, so on to tip number two of how to not lose weight over the holidays. So tip number two is make sure you are ravenous before you go to any holiday parties. In fact, it's probably best if you don't eat all day before the party. This way you can be sure you're gonna overeat as soon as you get into that door because you are so hungry and you're really gonna do some serious damage at the dessert table. To get the biggest bang for your buck, be sure to eat plenty of the hors d'oeuvres that are highly fried and the highest in calories. I would also recommend the puff pastries and the pigs in the blanket. Also, don't forget to socialize by the food table so that you don't burn any extra calories walking back and forth and you can really reap the rewards of mindless eating. So I hope you can hear my sarcasm in this uh, whole tip um, that I'm giving you. Same thing from yesterday. But seriously, mindless eating is for real, especially if you're in a social situation. You might be nervous or feeling self-conscious around other people, and you will always think eating is the answer to ease your uncomfortableness. There is something about not eating when everyone else is. So next time you go to a social event, I want you to try this out. So I'd love for you to eat before you go to the event and see how uncomfortable you will be when you don't eat when everyone else around you is. That uncomfortableness is 100% normal. We want to belong to the tribe. We want to belong to the group. But it's also something that you don't have to experience. So this, my friend, is what I work on one-on-one -on -one with my coaching clients. We work together and we dive deep into what's holding you back and how to take action to get your results. You don't have to settle for the body that you're currently in and you don't have to white knuckle it all the way to becoming fit and healthy. You can get healthier, be more fit and feel more comfortable in any social situation, whether it's an office party, a wedding or a holiday event. If you want guidance on how to move the needle on the scale in the direction you want it to go, join my one-on-one -on -one coaching. Go to shapeitupfitness.com slash chat to get started. Okay, so this is it for today's episode. Stay tuned for tomorrow for tip number three. I'll talk to you then.